Greetings all. Devious Monkey here. All right, so here's the dealio today. I'm back at Pleasure House Park and I am going to take out the 100 to 400 with the A7R4 and see if I can't get some animal pictures. You know, birds and shit. We'll see how that works out. It's a nice day. It's not particularly warm. It isn't as cold as yesterday. But the nice thing is, is that there's no wind. As you, oh, squirrel. The thing is, I can hear the birdies. And I know where they usually are. So we're gonna try those spots. All of this stuff down here, being that it's old and dried out somewhat, it's crunchy and it makes a lot of noise when you walk on it, which doesn't do well when you're trying to be quiet to take pictures of wildlife. Oh shit, see, there we go. I just missed a good one. I don't think there's any way I can get around there in time. But let me get pre-set up here. This is perfect. As you can see, I've got it on this tree which I'm using as a tripod, just a teensy bit closer. Thanks, dude. Well, while we're walking around looking for animals, I will say that I have definitely been learning a lot about flash photography in general, but more specifically about those AD200 Pros. And I had another big exciting outcome this morning so i thought okay i still have one of those i think it's a v862 godox flash which is like a normal speed light but again it was made for panasonic and i had a another uh wireless firing unit that was definitely panasonic and while i could get them to fire I couldn't change any settings. So it was just blasting off on whatever the, the default was. Well, today, whilst I was testing that AD200 Pro and seeing how I could set it, I, I got it all to manual, so I controlled it all now manually. And I thought, you know what? Let me dig out that V860 too and see what I can do with it. And once I set the channel and the group and everything and got it to work, and sync up with the wireless unit, whatever, the control unit, it worked. It worked like a champ. And I was able to control it through that wireless controller and fire both the 80 Pro, the, the 8200 Pro and that V860. So now I have a two light system, which is perfect. So I'm pretty stoked about that because I was, it always kind of bothered me that I got it and I could never use it because I had gotten rid of the Panasonic cameras. So now I'm mobile. I got a totally usable, small, excellent mobile lighting system that I can throw both of those things into one bag along with my lenses and whatever else and I can take them on the road with me. I can come back here and do a photo shoot and even though it's like really shady and spotty and all that shit, I can actually get good lighting. So, yay. I see. And that's what I was looking for. Okay, but I'm still too far away. And you're never going to see it when I walk around the corner here. But there is a huge white crane over yonder. Oh, he just started to fly a little bit. Yeah, see, he's at the edge of the grass here, which means I cannot get to him. Let's see if I change my vantage point. There we go. You know, since you're right there, He's on the verge of catching something. OK, 
Okay. Thanks again, birdies. Since he was facing me, see if I can get a different shot of him. Hopefully they came out clear. I have my glasses on, which I don't usually wear when I'm shooting like that, because I like to look through the viewfinder. And definitely now that I'm hoofing back here with this photo vest on, in addition to my t-shirt, my undershirt underneath it, and the thicker sweatshirt, and I'm in the direct sunlight. I'm actually pretty warm. Okay, I think I'm done. And while not as many as I thought that I would see, I at least got what I hope are going to be good pictures of at least three different birds. Okay, I am pooped. Walking in sand is always so difficult. Wah. That was a lot of fun though. I really enjoyed that. I Obviously, I love going back there. Um, I go there a lot because it's just so peaceful and, and just wonderful and everybody's all happy back there and friendly. So it, it's a very nice escape. Ugh, my glasses are weird. So I'm going to call that a, another success for shots. Well, at least I hope that the shots came out good. But again, I got those three birds, the first one being one that I've never seen before. So uh, that was pretty exciting. But the other two birds were, were very good about posing for me. So that's always good as well. All right, again, something a little bit different. You know, I, I wanna not necessarily do these point of view videos all the time, but I know I don't wanna sit in my office all the time just blathering on. So I thought just for something different, you would enjoy going back out into nature and watching me take pictures of birds. Okay, and I keep looking at the screen instead of the camera ones here. So the age old problem. That's why I hate flip out screens. I like flip up screens. Okay, that's it. That's all I got for you today. I'm gonna go get some bean now and then get back home and start playing around with some editing. I got a little bit more gear today. I got some more accessories for the AD200 Pro. Oh, and I also, I got a, uh, a couple of programs for pricing photography and videography because I definitely know that after however many years it's been since I charged for all my stuff that I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I thought, you know what? Got good reviews and it's, it's a good starting point for me. All is progressing as, as well as I can hope. I am schwitzing, so I'm gonna get the windows down and start driving. And since this is now on this little clippy thing, I actually don't have the normal stand to put it in here. Otherwise I'd be driving while I was talking to you here. So that's all I got for you today. As always, thanks for joining me. Like, subscribe and all that shit. And remember kids, forward and up.